Hello everyone, welcome. This is going to be a collective reading. We're going to look at the good things that are coming to you for the rest of November. So let's see. Okay. We got jurisdiction. If anyone is in court, you may have the upper hand in a court situation. It doesn't even have to be court. It could be even if you're in conflict with your spouse or partner that you may have the upper hand in the situation or you may be right. We have marriage. Some of you could be going to a higher level of commitment with a person that you're currently dealing with if you're not married already. I also see if you're married, keep in mind I'm doing intuitive messages with this reading. Um, I am getting with the marriage card, even if you are, whether you're married or not, if there was an issue in the marriage or relationship, it's going to be, there's going to be an improvement. If there's been a message of concern, especially about, about what is wrong with me? <laughs> especially about finances with the poverty card, that could change. We are focusing on the good things. So when these negative cards come out, there's definitely an indication of change, of a negative situation, a positive change. So let me get some more cards for you. Why are good things coming to my viewers? Why are the good things coming for the rest of November? Good things coming for the rest of November. Yes, and manifest. So some of you are manifesting these good things. I would definitely recommend that you really utilize manifestation. Sometimes we can slack off and like lose faith or just forget to forget that we're in control of our reality for the most part. So if you're trying to manifest something, it could be showing up before November ends. Look deeper into the details and yes, you can. So there's something, some of you may be struggling to manifest something. You may need to look deeper into the details because yes, you can. You have two yeses basically here and it definitely, it looks like a lot of you are trying to manifest something financially. Maybe you have a deadline with the message of, message of concern. I feel like you really have the power to change this. I've seen a lot of success stories about people thinking that, you know, something's going to go bad, like they have no hope in a financial situation and then something shows up right in the nick of time. So definitely manifest. That is like, that is really what's going to bring the blessings to you. Um, but let me look at some tarot cards for you. So what are the good things coming from my viewers before November ends? the good things come in before November ends. You see, there's something to do with court. We got the justice card. judgment some of you are in marriage court sorry not marriage court <laughs> divorce court um you could have the upper hand in this situation someone may start to see your side of things but aside from the marriage i do see the ending of a bad financial situation five of pentacles in reverse you are you are correcting some financial issues here and especially with the power of manifestation, you have the magician. Right in the nick of time, something is going to show up for you. Right when you feel like there's no hope. Whether it's in a relationship or especially financially. I don't see you having to um, do much in the physical realm. It's more so manifesting. It's more so in your mind, visualizing, you know, Starting from the inside because our minds are projecting this reality. So starting in the mind, a lot of you need to visualize like every morning. 
you know, like make it your routine. It's your routine, okay? Like just like stretching. <laughs> it's stretching for the mind, okay? Do that. It's going to work. Definitely going to work. I do see you realizing that you actually have a lot of strength. And I feel like if you do manage, well, sorry, when you do manage to correct this situation with your manifestation powers, your visualization, you will realize your strength there. Strength you may not have known that you had, or maybe you didn't know it was that strong. And you'll start to manifest other things going forward. I see this maybe like this bad situation testing you to show you your power. And then going forward, it's like, you feel like you've got it, you got everything. You never need to worry, you always have this tool to reach for if you feel like things are not going your way. Let's get more messages. Why is the star card here in reverse? Why is the star card here in reverse? See, a lot of you are not knowing your creative strengths. You may even have angels, I mean, not even may, you do have angels around you, guides, trying to show you, trying to make you realize your, your creative strength, the fact that you create your own reality. You need to have this idea in your mind, especially a financial idea, um, if that is your issue, you need to see it. You need to see it in your mind. Some of you could be Sagittarius, Libra, Leo. Not Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the school in reverse, please. Yeah, a lot of you haven't been taking, you haven't been doing that. There's more action. Queen of Wands, you need to take more action when it comes to your life. And I'm guilty of this too, like forgetting, forgetting to do the visualizations, forgetting that, you know, I can change my reality. You know, you kind of get comfortable in the reality that you're in. And when it falls apart, that's when you start to remember that you have control, you know, so you're needing to take that leap. The cards I'm seeing here are indicating that you may have forgotten like maybe you used to manifest like crazy then you just kind of relaxed a little bit you know you are needing to get up and do it again you're still alive therefore you're still creating you could be creating this nine of pentacles but you're not in action you need to be in action clarify this eight of cups in reverse please This is about you, you see. Some of you may even be manifesting love. If you're trying to manifest, I'm seeing that some of you are trying to manifest a relationship back. This is all about manifestation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like it keeps telling you to get up. Take action. Two of cups and the ace of cups. Some of you may be manifesting a relationship or a person back into your life. If that's what you're wanting. It's like anything that you want. The good things that you want, the reason why you clicked on this video, you know, to know what good things are coming to you. You can make these good things come to you. You can make them come to you if you get up. And I don't mean like get up and exercise. I mean, that could be the case for some of you. Like if you're wanting to manifest physical looks or, you know, fitness or just health. But when it comes to manifesting love, money yes you have to work for money but it start it still starts in the mind so it's not about really getting up physically it's about remembering that you can create you know not just sitting around waiting taking control visualizing seeing things the way you want it to be why the let's put this justice card here I try to adjust this card. Yeah, some of you are battling something in court for sure. Yeah, some of you are battling something. You can take control of this. 
You may be dealing, you may be in court with someone who is a manipulative liar. You can still take control of this because there's laws in the universe. Liars and manipulators do get punished. You don't have to sit there and feel like they're overpowering you, like they have some kind of power. They are cheating the game in the first place. If someone's cheating the game, you can make them a loser easily. You need to know your power. Let's see. What are the good things coming to my collective viewers? What are the good things coming to my collective? Before November ends, vacation me please. Some of you either going on vacation or you're going to be, if you've been inactive, you know, not getting any. You may get some before November ends, or you may go on vacation, or both. If you're, you know, maybe single or in a relationship and you're going with your partner. But what are the good things coming to the collective viewer before November ends? The intuition is correct. You may start to, you may become more intuitive, especially if you are meditating, to manifest. You may find that your intuition strengthens. Past events affecting current energy. You may be able to get past um, the past. You may be able to heal, address certain things, and not have it affect you anymore. We have twin flames. A lot of people manifest in a relationship, but the past may be holding you back as well. But clearing that out, or getting over something finally before the month ends, will help you. So we have four. Ooh. Okay. So the addiction card fell on the floor. And I can't reach it. So some of you may be getting over addictions before November ends. Regrets. Why are the good things come into the collective view of magnetic attraction? Music, intuition again. Increased intuition for sure, but I'm seeing that you may be letting go of the past. Some of you may be regretting the way you were in a past relationship, things like that you said, or the way it was, or maybe even the person that you chose. I see that changing, possibly with a new person or being able to do over a relationship the right way. It's like you don't like how things played out in the past and you, you're about to change that with your own mind. Okay, you're about to change that. What are the good things coming to the collective viewer? Self love. Very soon. Know your worth and free yourself. You definitely, this is all about freeing yourself from the negative past. Freeing yourself from negative thoughts, past energies, knowing your worth and moving forward. You may be attracting love because of this. Some of you are just going on vacation to take care of yourself, enjoy yourself. Whatever it is, it has to do with you being you. You realizing that you can create I just feel like a lot of you have forgotten, <laughs> forgotten that. We have shadow, some of you are doing shadow work. Prosperity begins. Recognition and reward, emotional withdrawal. So you may be pulling away from people to really go within and do that work. And you're gonna reap a lot of benefits. Prosperity and the recognition and the rewards. I see you winning either a, a case in court or just in your life in general. Winning over your past thoughts and negative things that have been holding you back. There is emphasis on changes in your finances. 
there's something that you're not seeing. Some of you may need to watch more manifestation videos, like maybe success videos of it to get inspired or um, how to manifest on new methods, finding new methods or using a method that worked for you in the past that you may have just neglected that method. We all do it. We all get comfortable until we get uncomfortable. Then we have to go back to <laughs> think we have to think back to what we did in the past to get good results. So this is what I'm seeing. It's all up to you. And it sucks that I can't give you that ma magical message of it's all gonna happen, just, it's just gonna fall into your lap. But this is actually really a more realistic situation. Taking matters into your own hands and not just believing like that is just gonna magically appear. There's more faith when you know that you have done the work. You have visualized. You really need to visualize this vacation. It's so easy to, I find it easy to visualize the ocean. Look how blue it is. It's like the easiest color to visualize. Visualize that ocean, especially if you live in a city. Like if you live in a city and you visualize the ocean, your mind knows automatically that that doesn't exist in this city, so you must be going somewhere else. <laughs> so you really need, you really, really need to visualize the outcome of your situation and then let it go, get on with your day and have faith. So I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.